the Lions are dominating week to week, but the Vikings and Eagles are right there at eight and two. Which team has a chance of knocking the Lions out when it matters most in the playoffs and why? So you're going to have to figure out the division winners. You're going to have to figure out who's going to have a chance in the playoffs. The the Lions are not going to play at home against the – well, they, they might play at home every game of the playoffs, but they're not going to play the Jaguars every single week. That was a unique thing. Um, the Lions are a terrifying football team simply for the fact that they had a quarterback throw five interceptions, call it four legitimate interceptions and a Hail Mary at the end of the first half. And they won a football game against a playoff-bound team at on the road. The, the Lions are insane. Who has the best chance of knocking them out? Are you saying before they went, reach the Super Bowl? Or no, just... he, his the question is uh, structured and basically implying that the Eagles are going to meet them or the Vikings are going to meet them in the playoffs. I think based on the NFC South and whoever joins them, right, it's going to be Washington, probably going into Atlanta, maybe Tampa. I think those are the only playoff teams. Green Bay might enter the the fold if they kind of keep up the the hot streak. Um, but where where did you feel like they have a chance to lose or where they're going to, you know, kind of misstep? I hate to say the best chance that the Lions have at losing in the playoffs is probably in the Super Bowl based on the fact that Jared Goff could become Jared Goof at any moment. Ben Johnson hopefully okay. for Lions fans won't let him become Jared Goof ever again cuz he got it out of him this year. Um, like the NFC South winner, do they have a chance of beating the Lions in Detroit? I don't think so. We can talk about who wins the NFC South. Um, I think it's going to take a spectacular quarterback performance. And as a Bears fan, this is going to fucking suck to say, but I mean, Jaden Daniels could be that guy. If if the Redskins win their home playoff oh, game, man. maybe they go as a wild card win. I don't know. Do they, do they have a good chance? No, I don't think any NFC team has a good chance of beating the Lions in the playoffs, especially in Detroit. But I think it's going to take a spectacular quarterback performance. I don't know if your comment about Jalen Hurts was on air or off air. I think nothing of him. I think that he's a very undeserving player as far as his contract. I don't know if the Eagles have it in them. Maybe. But I think it just takes a special quarterback performance to beat the Lions this year. So here's, here's my thoughts. And it was just kind of like, I don't remember the last time we've seen a team this consistently dominant. We we haven't seen this. When's the last time you've it's seen like a scary, 15 and it? 2? 15 and 2, but not just 15 and 2, like beating every average to below average team 50 to 10. It's like the I Harlem Globetrotters. It's unbelievable and I think we're yeah. taking it for granted. I'm at this point because the Bears are done for. I'm a Bear, I'm a Lions fan. I'm a Lions fan the rest of the season. I am giving them and the Bills like my support to go win the Super Bowl. Somebody's got to win it. And if I have to choose one of them, it's going to be Lions or it's going to be Bills for me. I respect what the Lions are doing and they're proving me wrong a lot of the steps of the way. I never believed in Dan Campbell. I thought he was a rah-rah buffoon and I didn't think he was going to be a long-term head coach that actually mattered. Um, I was wrong. He, I, think, I think the Lions are very close to an implosion in the sense of Ben Johnson leaving and the talent kind of leaving. And I don't think it's something that Dan Campbell can keep together all on his own. I will put it that way. Um, but what he's built there is kind of, kind of crazy. And I don't think we've seen this in a while because it's an NFL of parody in the last five to 10 years. Every team loses a random fluke game. And we look back and every team, even the best ones, are like 13 wins, 12 wins, 14 wins. These guys are going to win like 14, 15 games easily. I don't see them losing many games. And they've already beaten the best competition on their schedule. They've beaten the Packers at full health. They've beaten the Vikings at full health. So I don't – well, Jordan – okay, Jordan Love was groin injury or whatever it was. but uh, we, we, don't, we don't have to slander the Packers because they did just beat us. I think that the Bears lost to the Packers more than the Packers beat the Bears. I don't view them as this – anything i don't think that they they probably could sneak into the playoffs but i don't know if they're good enough to do anything and you saw what they had they had a home game against detroit and they got treated like the jaguars they got blown out so if detroit finds themselves playing their first game of the playoffs after a bye week against the packers play some bets on some overs on some stuff for the lions they're gonna put up another 50 burger i have no doubt about that 
Yeah, for sure. So to answer the the question directly, I don't see anybody stepping in the way of the Lions other than Super Bowl contenders. Um, and I don't think there's any real Super Bowl contenders in the NFC other than the Lions. I think the Eagles are going to fizzle out, like you said, mostly due to Jalen Hurts. I don't think the Vikings are for real because of Sam Darnold. And until they replace those quarterbacks or fix that problem, I, I don't. I still don't understand why AFC quarterbacks just don't choose to re-sign or sign contracts with the NFC teams and just compete with somebody for NFC titles every year and try to win Super Bowls because the AFC is just so loaded that I don't see anybody stopping the NFC, any solid dominant team. I suppose there's one team that we didn't really mention if they somehow get their shit together is the Niners, but I just think that's too far gone for the season. If, this, if the Niners yeah. were the Niners, there, I would see them many... as their only true competition. I don't know how, what injuries have had players out for the year. I think once they lost Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel is perpetually hurt, I, I just don't see you know too far gone for the, the 49ers. 